Calcium carbonate is a chemical compound with the formula CaCO3. It is a common substance found in rocks as the minerals calcite and aragonite, and is the main component of shells of marine organisms, snails, pearls, and eggshells. Calcium carbonate is the active ingredient in agricultural lime, and is created when calcium ions in hard water react with carbonate ions creating a lime scale. It is commonly used medicinally as a calcium supplement or as an antacid, but excessive consumption can be hazardous. Chemistry Calcium carbonate shares the typical properties of other carbonates. Notably, it reacts with acids, releasing carbon dioxide. CACO3 plus 2H plus California 2 plus plus CO2 plus H2O It releases carbon dioxide on heating, called a thermal decomposition reaction, or calcination, to form calcium oxide, commonly called quicklime, with reaction enthalpy 178 kJ, mol. CACO3 Cal plus CO2 Calcium carbonate will react with water that is saturated with carbon dioxide to form the soluble calcium bicarbonate. CACO3 plus CO2 plus H2O California 2 This reaction is important in the erosion of carbonate rock, forming caverns, and leads to hard water in many regions. An unusual form of calcium carbonate is the hexahydrate, ichite, CACO36H2O. Ichite is stable only below 6 degrees Celsius. Preparation The vast majority of calcium carbonate used in industry is extracted by mining or quarrying. Pure calcium carbonate can be produced from a pure quarried source. Alternatively, calcium carbonate is prepared from calcium oxide. Water is added to give calcium hydroxide then carbon dioxide is passed through this solution to precipitate the desired calcium carbonate, referred to in the industry as precipitated calcium carbonate. Cow plus H2O California 2 California 2 plus CO2 CACO 3 plus H2O structure. The thermodynamically stable form of CACO 3 under normal conditions is hexagonal beta CACO 3. Other forms can be prepared. The denser, orthorhombic lambda CACO 3 and mu CACO 3, occurring as the mineral vaterite. The aragonite form can be prepared by precipitation at temperatures above 85 degrees Celsius. The vaterite form can be prepared by precipitation at 60 degrees Celsius. Calcite contains calcium atoms coordinated by six oxygen atoms. In aragonite they are coordinated by nine oxygen atoms. The vaterite structure is not fully understood. Magnesium carbonate MgCO3 has the calcite structure, whereas strontium and barium carbonate adopts the aragonite structure, reflecting their larger ionic radii. Occurrence Geological sources calcite, aragonite and vaterite are pure calcium carbonate minerals. Industrially important source rocks which are predominantly calcium carbonate include limestone, chalk, marble and travertine. Biological sources eggshells, snail shells and most seashells are predominantly calcium carbonate and can be used as industrial sources of that chemical. Oyster shells have enjoyed recent recognition as a source of dietary calcium, but are also a practical industrial source. While not practical as an industrial source, dark green vegetables such as broccoli and kale contain dietrily significant amounts of calcium carbonate. Extraterrestrial beyond Earth There is strong evidence that calcium carbonate was detected on the planet Mars at more than one location, providing evidence for the past presence of liquid water. Geology Carbonate is found frequently in geologic settings and constitute an enormous carbon reservoir. Calcium carbonate occurs as aragonite, calcite and dolomite. The carbonate minerals form the rock types, limestone, chalk, marble, travertine, tufa, and others. In warm, clear tropical waters corals are more abundant than towards the poles where the waters are cold. Calcium carbonate contributors, including plankton, coralline algae, sponges, brachiopods, echinoderms, bryozoa and mollusks, 
are typically found in shallow water environments where sunlight and filterable food are more abundant. Cold water carbonates do exist at higher latitudes but have a very slow growth rate. The calcification processes are changed by ocean acidification, where the oceanic crust is subjugated under a continental plate sediments will be carried down to warmer zones in the asthenosphere and lithosphere. Under these conditions calcium carbonate decomposes to produce carbon dioxide which, along with other gases, give rise to explosive volcanic eruptions. Carbonate compensation depth The carbonate compensation depth is the point in the ocean where the rate of precipitation of calcium carbonate is balanced by the rate of dissolution due to the conditions present. Deep in the ocean, the temperature drops and pressure increases. Calcium carbonate is unusual in that its solubility increases with decreasing temperature. Increasing pressure also increases the solubility of calcium carbonate. The carbonate compensation depth can range from 4 to 6 km below sea level. Role in taphonomy Calcium carbonate can preserve fossils through permineralization. Most of the vertebrate fossils of the two medicine formation, a geologic formation known for its duck-billed dinosaur eggs, are preserved by CACO-3. Permineralization this type of preservation preserves high levels of detail, even down to the microscopic level. However, it also leaves specimens vulnerable to weathering when exposed to the surface. Uses Industrial applications The main use of calcium carbonate is in the construction industry, either as a building material or limestone aggregate for road building or as an ingredient of cement or as the starting material for the preparation of builder's lime by burning in a kiln. However, because of weathering mainly caused by acid rain, calcium carbonate is no longer used for building purposes on its own but only as a raw, primary substance for building materials. Calcium carbonate is also used in the purification of iron from iron ore in a blast furnace. The carbonate is calcined in situ to give calcium oxide, which forms a slag with various impurities present, and separates from the purified iron. In the oil industry, Calcium carbonate is added to drilling fluids as a formation bridging and filter cake sealing agent. It is also a weighting material which increases the density of drilling fluids to control the downhole pressure. Calcium carbonate is added to swimming pools as a pH corrector for maintaining alkalinity and offsetting the acidic properties of the disinfectant agent. It is also used as a raw material in the refining of sugar from sugar beet. It is calcined in a kiln with anthracite to produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. This burnt lime is then slaked in sweet water to produce a calcium hydroxide suspension for the precipitation of impurities in raw juice during carbonatation. Calcium carbonate has traditionally been a major component of blackboard chalk. However, modern manufactured chalk is mostly gypsum, hydrated calcium sulfate carso 42 h 20 Calcium carbonate is a main source for growing secrete, or bio-rock. Precipitated calcium carbonate, predispersed in slurry form, is a common filler material for latex gloves with the aim of achieving maximum saving in material and production costs. Fine ground calcium carbonate is an essential ingredient in the microporous film used in diapers and some building films as the pores are nucleated around the calcium carbonate particles during the manufacture of the film by biaxial stretching. GCC or PCC is used as a filler in paper because they are cheaper than wood fiber. In terms of market volume, GCC are the most important types of fillers currently used. Printing and writing paper can contain 10 to 20 percent calcium carbonate. In North America, calcium carbonate has begun to replace kaolin in the production of glossy paper. Europe has been practicing this as alkaline papermaking or acid-free papermaking for some decades. PCC used for paper filling and paper coatings is precipitated and prepared in a variety of shapes and sizes having characteristic narrow particle size distributions and equivalent spherical diameters of 0.4 to 3 micrometers. 
Calcium carbonate is widely used as an extender in paints, in particular matte emulsion paint where typically 30% by weight of the paint is either chalk or marble. It is also a popular filler in plastics. Some typical examples include around 15-20% to 20 loading of chalk in and plasticized polyvinyl chloride drain pipe, 5-15% to 15 loading of stearate coated chalk or marble in UPVC window profile. PVC cables can use calcium carbonate at loadings of up to 70 pHr to improve mechanical properties and electrical properties. Polypropylene compounds are often filled with calcium carbonate to increase rigidity, a requirement that becomes important at high use temperatures. Here the percentage is often 20 to 40 percent. It also routinely used as a filler in thermosetting resins and has also been mixed with ABS and other ingredients to form some types of compression molded clay poker chips. Precipitated calcium carbonate, made by dropping calcium oxide into water, is used by itself or with additives as a white paint, known as whitewashing. Calcium carbonate is added to a wide range of trade and do-it-yourself adhesives, sealants, and decorating fillers. Ceramic tile adhesives typically contain 70-80% to 80 limestone. Decorating crack fillers contain similar levels of marble or dolomite. It is also mixed with putty in setting stained glass windows, and is a resist to prevent glass from sticking to kiln shelves when firing glazes and paints at high temperature. In ceramics, glazing applications, calcium carbonate is known as whiting, and is a common ingredient for many glazes in its white powdered form. When a glaze containing this material is fired in a kiln, the whiting acts as a flux material in the glaze. Ground calcium carbonate is an abrasive, in particular in its calcite form, which has the relatively low hardness level of 3 on the Mohs scale of mineral hardness, and will therefore not scratch glass and most other ceramics, enamel, bronze, iron, and steel, and have a moderate effect on softer metals like aluminium and copper. A paste made from calcium carbonate and deionized water can be used to clean tarnish on silver. Health and dietary applications Calcium carbonate is widely used medicinally as an inexpensive dietary calcium supplement or gastric antacid. It may be used as a phosphate binder for the treatment of hyperphosphatemia. It is also used in the pharmaceutical industry as an inert filler for tablets and other pharmaceuticals. Calcium carbonate is used in the production of calcium oxide as well as toothpaste and has seen a resurgence as a food preservative and color retainer. When used in or with products such as organic apples or food, excess calcium from supplements, fortified food and high calcium diets can cause milk alkali syndrome, which has serious toxicity and can be fatal. In 1915, Bertram Sippy introduced the Sippy regimen of hourly ingestion of milk and cream and the gradual addition of eggs and cooked cereal for 10 days, combined with alkaline powders, which provided symptomatic relief for peptic ulcer disease. Over the next several decades, the SIPI regimen resulted in renal failure, alkalosis, and hypercalcemia, mostly in men with peptic ulcer disease. These adverse effects were reversed when the regimen stopped, but it was fatal in some patients with protracted vomiting. Milk alkali syndrome declined in men after effective treatments for peptic ulcer disease arose. During the past 15 years, it has been reported in women taking calcium supplements above the recommended range of 1.2 to 1.5 grams daily for prevention and treatment of osteoporosis, and is exacerbated by dehydration. Calcium has been added to over-the-counter products, which contributes to inadvertent excessive intake. Excessive calcium intake can lead to hypercalcemia, complications of which include vomiting, abdominal pain and altered mental status. As a food additive it is designated E170, INS number 170. 
used as an acidity regulator, anti-caking agent, stabilizer or color it is approved for usage in the EU, USA and Australia and New Zealand. It is used in some soy milk and almond milk products as a source of dietary calcium. One study suggests that calcium carbonate might be as bioavailable as the calcium in cow's milk. Calcium carbonate is also used as a firming agent in many canned or bottled vegetable products. Environmental applications In 1989, a researcher, Ken Simmons, introduced CACO-3 into the Whetstone Brook in Massachusetts. His hope was that the calcium carbonate would counter the acid in the stream from acid rain and save the trout that had ceased to spawn. This shows that CACO-3 can be added to neutralize the effects of acid rain in river ecosystems. Currently calcium carbonate is used to neutralize acidic conditions in both soil and water. Since the 1970s, such liming has been practiced on a large scale in Sweden to mitigate acidification and several thousand lakes and streams are limed repeatedly. Calcium carbonate is also used in flue gas desulfurization applications eliminating harmful SO2 and NO2 emissions from coal and other fossil fuels, burnt in large fossil fuel power stations. Calcination Equilibrium Calcination of limestone using charcoal fires to produce quick lime has been practiced since antiquity by cultures all over the world. The temperature at which limestone yields calcium oxide is usually given as 825 degrees Celsius, but stating an absolute threshold is misleading. Calcium carbonate exists in equilibrium with calcium oxide and carbon dioxide at any temperature. At each temperature there is a partial pressure of carbon dioxide that is in equilibrium with calcium carbonate. At room temperature, the equilibrium overwhelmingly favors calcium carbonate, because the equilibrium CO2 pressure is only a tiny fraction of the partial CO2 pressure in air, which is about 0.035 kilopascals. At temperatures above 550 degrees Celsius the equilibrium CO2 pressure begins to exceed the CO2 pressure in air. So above 550 degrees Celsius, calcium carbonate begins to outgas CO2 into air. However, in a charcoal-fired kiln, the concentration of CO2 will be much higher than it is in air. Indeed, if all the oxygen in the kiln is consumed in the fire, then the partial pressure of CO2 in the kiln can be as high as 20 kilopascals. The table shows that this partial pressure is not achieved until the temperature is nearly 800 degrees Celsius. For the outgassing of CO2 from calcium carbonate to happen at an economically useful rate, the equilibrium pressure must significantly exceed the ambient pressure of CO2, and for it to happen rapidly, the equilibrium pressure must exceed total atmospheric pressure of 101 kilopascals, which happens at 898 degrees Celsius.